hello all um, welcome to this uh, learning on variant testing so this is one of the very important question not only questions the important concept that you have to understand uh, if you are working on variant testing well and good you can you can still know more about it if you not yes you can easily understand with this video um, I don't want I will not give you more explanation uh, but yes, at least it will go till uh, 10 or 15 minutes so that you can you can come to know what exactly the variant testing is and few keywords also you will be uh, learning with this video all right so let's start with what exactly the variant testing is all right before variant testing let me um, give you a scenario all right um, yes Again, this is the ECU. We got ECU. All right. So in the ECU, I'll write it is the ECU so that we can understand, can know. Okay. ECU. All right. So here in this ECU, you have um, you have three inputs. The I think the last video you would be aware about the ECU input and output. And uh, here you will have um, um, output of I can make it simple so I want to give the same to output so the first input is act pedal second input is brake pedal third input is gear all right here the output is speed is the first output second output is a cluster that is the MIL lamp that is uh, it will I mean it's I'm sorry it's not like ML lamp it's like an indication lamp all right in my previous video also we have seen ML MLMs kind of a mall in uh, mall indicate mall function indicator lamp I'm sorry it's a, it's a just an indicator lamp okay so you can consider IL so um, display I can make it simple display fine so here um, our developers developer team all right so what they are doing is they'll develop the software the software that they are going to develop is uh, we want to give 50% uh, of the accelerator then brake is 10% then gear here comes into picture for gear what they'll do is they'll develop they will develop gear has um, you know everything they'll have the uh, what we call they have um, if else condition if it is a auto gear then do this if it is a manual then do this all right so they have some some piece of code for you just leave about that you just understand the concept so now if the 50 percent 10 percent and gear is something something so that we have to get some expected output all right so this they have developed you don't want to understand the logic how they developed and what lookup table they have uh, followed what map table they have followed you don't want to consider that time being because as now we are in the variant testing variant testing what we have to do is you'll understand shortly so now they have developed the complete functionality all right so this is uh, consider this is a version 2 and for this version 2 this is a complete functionality and they have done it so now it's your responsibility to do a variant testing so what exactly you'll do all right so see here we have three cars and uh, this this company this brand is Hyundai all right so uh, Hyundai is a company they will not give uh, a software for only one car or only one variant you can say because it will it will loss for them right so what they will do is they will they will give all the functionality say for example 200 plus functionalities they'll give and you will be working on the car uh, say Hyundai Venue you are working for the Hyundai Venue and Hyundai Venue you can you can see only 60 functionalities uh, this takes remaining 140 for what they have developed obviously it is for other variants so OEM are very smart enough that they will give as much as possible functionalities or the features to be developed by the companies or to their suppliers all right so the supplier company what they have to do they have to do for 200 features 
and it's not ended over there also this OEM they'll give the variant coding sheet here you have to understand the terminology variant coding sheet or variant sheet or variant handling sheet or variant handling document whatever it is it depends on every OEM depends on every supplier they can name it as their own all right so now what again we are not at uh, into the role what exactly the variant testing is um, so now what exactly we are going to do is so here as I mentioned variant coding sheet variant handling variant uh, document whatever it is so here it will be like this Excel so I have not filled anything I fill in front of you so now I don't want to confuse you so I just want to give only three features number one is number one is wheelbase number two is fuel type number three is body type so here wheelbase they'll give for Kona electric or it's a vehicle it's a Kona electric and one more thing they will not give the exact name what they are going to release because they may not finalize the name so they will give some code words like K24, V24, VA24 like that they will give you alright because they may not finalize if they finalize also they don't want to disclose or it's not necessary to inform for this car only we are giving it that is it's none of their business alright so here the wheelbase for the K24 is consider 2600 mm for Hyundai venue is consider 2520 mm and for Verna I can consider 2500 mm why wheelbase is it really matters obviously matters because whenever the circumference that is the, the size of the uh, wheel or the radius or diameter whatever you can call it as whenever it reduces the speed increases say for example if you are giving the 50% of act pedal you are giving the brake pedal as 0 and consider the gear is on a driving or of some gears so the speed may be say 120 km per hour in Verna as Hyundai Venue has 20 mm more so the speed may be 115 km per hour Kona Electric they have still more the diameter is still more they may be 1 1 10 km per hour it depends so as a as a validation engineer what you have to do is on a variant testing it's developers responsibility to develop on their own logic as per the variant sheet so the tester responsibility you have to map you have to configure if it is a uh, if you are validating a venue that is a v24 vehicle you have to give the input as the circumference or uh, sorry I'm very bad at math so can consider the diameter is 2520 mm all right or the circumference is 2520 mm so that this will set then second parameter is for the k24 this is a hybrid so the fuel type is hybrid this is they considered a petrol and this is a diesel then body type this is a kind of can consider it's a SUV it's a compact SUV and this is a sedan so now you have three parameters so for this you will have a coding value sheet say for example in the wheelbase if it is uh, 2600 mm then the coding value may be one that's what the variant coding sheet tells you all right it will be one two five two zero it may be three and two five two zero it may be four so one three four if you set three and you have to set the fuel type it can be say for example two it can be four it can be six then SUV is three a compact SUV is some six sedan is some eight what are the number so now if you set four six eight then automatically the software variant changes to VA24 that is Verna if you give uh, you know what I wrote is 3 and 4 6 if you give 3 4 6 then it will the variant will change as 24 that is V24 so venue 24 so now the question is you are setting your say for example you are setting this uh, V24 like 3 4 6 this coding value this coding value and this one you have set these three now what's your responsibility to validate At, as soon you are testing as you are setting this 
your responsibility is to validate the proper input and the expected output say for example as i said for venue with this value you should get the speed of 115 km per hour this should be your validation point if this one is comes to the 115 km per hour then your test case is pass that's it and uh, if you are giving this one two three then what will happen is it will become um, hybrid mode that is hybrid vehicle and uh, here even i can include one more parameter for the gear gear so here the gear can be for this it's automatic and here it is a manual and consider here also manual so if it is a one two so for this like a six is a variant code six is, here so manual is one and here also manual is one so what will happen is if you give one two three six then automatically it changes the gear to be uh, auto so that you will have an option called d park reverse and neutral that's it only these four you will if you set one then you will have option called one two three four five all right so this is how you have to validate so you have to validate uh, with respect to the coding value where you have to fetch then you have to expect the output so this is a positive scenario you can say on a test case if you are good at test case writing you can easily understand it's a positive scenario if you want to test for the negative scenario what you have to do for negative scenario you have to mix up some invalid conditions say for example um, what I'm do, going to do is one three one two three I'll do and I'll give the uh, gear as a one that means manual obviously this Kona electric doesn't have manual gear so it will give error it will give fail it will not say for example if you give one here then uh, one two three and the gear uh, variant as one then you will not get display you will not get the output you will get some uh, something what are the message that you your developers are skipped you will get uh, maybe the variant coding is wrong in the car configuration so you have to change all right so this negative scenario you have to test so that in while well, flashing in the um, uh, manufacturing place if they have flashed the wrong software also you will get this nrc all right i mean you will get this fault so if this fault uh, if you read with the 19 service and you'll get this fault so that you can come to know this is a wrong variant and it should throw because that's what our expectations is so this is what all about the variant testing you can't explain in a single line of course if you understand the concept whatever i explain now you can rephrase yourself how you want to deliver and you can drag to explain this much all right i hope this video helped you to understanding what exactly the variant testing is if yes yes you can also um, leave a comment and we'll get back to you in the next video until then bye take a happy learnings